Hello, this is Miguel Winfield, the developer of MG Picker Studio. Uh, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create a picker based on picker templates. So first thing, uh, you need to find these two icons. One is for boot MG Picker Studio in animation mode, uh, animator mode, and one is for designer mode. But if you can't find these two icons, you end up maybe finding these icons. Uh, the icon here is just the old version of icon and icon here is just the new version we're gonna use in MG Picker Studio feature released. Okay, um, so first file up the MG Picker Studio in designer mode and then go to picker menu, um, new picker font template. And the hotkey for this feature is control alt m. Um, an alternative auto way to do this is alt and double click uh, left mouth button double click this empty area and this will bring up the picker templates dialog okay and uh, this dialog will show up all the uh, picker templates that is factory come from factory default and the user templates they will be all listed out in this dialog okay um for the rig we use mom rig, so we uh, it's pretty cartoony. So we just pick up the uh, relatively cartoony picker templates. So for picker name, we just select one part of the character and then use this button to um, to generate a name, or you can just type in yourself and then say okay. So uh, the first thing you you gonna do is actually save this picker. Uh, it's created but it's not saved. Okay, um, so import a picker name, mom. Okay. Um, the second thing you're gonna do is uh, set up a namespace of this picker. Set up namespace. If you didn't uh, do this, the whole picker won't work. Okay, so uh, in this dialog, you can just select what any part of your character uh, make sure the character is referenced into your scene, not input uh, into your scene. Okay, um, and then use this button to input the namespace and then set. And the third thing uh, I want you to, to keep in mind is um, there's a lot of tools outside uh, uh, be displayed in this UI. Uh, the main two tools I uh, we're gonna use is this edit tool and then the preview tool. So edit tool is used to uh, pick um, pick a button and select them and maybe move them and in the right click menu there's a lot of features uh, regarding of creating a picker button and editing a picker button. So uh, for preview tool it's used to preview your picker. If your picker already connected, connected to your uh, rig controls this is the, the, the tool you use to test your picker. Okay. Uh, so during uh, the, the demonstration, we will use these two tools very frequently. Okay, before really uh, dig into these picker buttons to add their data to connect with my controls, uh, the one thing you need to do is to check out the actual read controls and these picker buttons. See if you need to create some actual picker buttons here and maybe remove some unuseful ones. Uh, since this picker is factory default picker templates, um, there's a lot of creating or removing works to do, but uh, if the picker templates is designed by yourself, uh, if the rig in your project are all obeyed to the same naming convention or maybe from the same rigging tools, uh, maybe you, you don't need to do that much of picker button creating or removing work. Okay, uh, so for now, we the first thing we want to take care about is these select buttons. So you you need to connect these actual rig controls, no my notes into these picker buttons. So you, uh, the thing you gotta do is in the edit tool, select the actual my control, and then right click on the. Uh, corresponding picker buttons and then select replace selection to select buttons. This will set these nodes as the member nodes of this picker 
buttons, uh, which here is a select buttons. So for select buttons, there's a member list. Uh, you just go to attribute editor and then scroll down to the bottom. Uh, it, there will be a list showing up the actual no controls without any namespace. Okay, uh, so you can you may notice that uh, once I do this replace things, uh, this button already highlighted as a white corner. So that means uh, this button is actually connect with these nodes. Okay, uh, so we will repeat this process very frequently. Uh, so maybe select these controls and then go to replace selection to select buttons. Uh, you can even redo this use G key. Uh, you may notice that in menu item uh, we have this sign below the actual label so with G character. So you go to the edit uh, menu you, you may find other things that align items has a G sign on it and distribute items has G on it. So that means this action can be repeatable with the G hotkeys. For this we just select it and then hit G. So this will uh, dramatically speed up your editing speed. So for loot, uh, we just go select this button and hit G. For the lag controls, go to this G. Go to this G. Okay, uh, it will continue to use these techniques to actually connect all these picker buttons, I mean select buttons to these actual controls. And an alternative way to do this is um, say for this hand, we go to this hand picker select buttons and then we go to uh, the, the button of this attribute editor and hit the equal sign. This is the same thing that uh, when you use this, it's the same feature. And additionally, you can just uh, maybe add this to this control, this select buttons. So you just use this button to really add this node to the member list. And you can just, um, in, in maybe you find that you end up with uh, wrong memberships here. So uh, you want to remove this one and you just select this item and then use this one to delete that. So uh, alternatively you can add this and then just press the delete button to delete these nodes from this select button. Okay, uh, there's a whole lot of other techniques regarding of the uh, editing a select buttons. So for now we just keep uh, things really simple. Okay, um, so assuming that we end up uh, with all these select buttons connect with these nodes, now it's time to go to the preview tools to actually text this buttons to see if there's anything wrong happens and you go back to re-edit them. But actually you don't need to frequently switch to the preview tool and switch back uh, during the editing. You, uh, so in edit tools, normally you use, um, click on the picker button, it just select button, dot the uh, notes. But if you press all key and click on this pick a button, I mean select button in edit tools, um, click it, you find that uh, it select the buttons for you but it will select the notes it contains. So this is a quick tip that you use to really test out which select button contain which Maya notes. So it just out, 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 click, out, click to test out these select buttons. Even uh, within the edit tools, uh, you don't need to frequently switch to the preview tools. For command buttons, uh, all you need to care about is its, it's command, okay? Um, ideally, you don't need to change these codes if uh, when you design the picker templates, the, the code you input is generic enough that applies to all your rigs. Uh, and then in that situation, you don't need to actually uh, to care about this command. So um, if you need to, you just modify these codes. And for menu, you know, um, for each type of picker buttons, select button, command button, attribute button, slider, text, and panel, you can attach a, a menu, a picker button that has a menu, you can tell that from these little triangles. So 
you select this picker button and go to menu editor. Just highlight one menu item and add it in their uh, codes. Uh, again, ideally, uh, you don't need to edit in these things unless you really need to. Okay. Um, so this is for command button and the um, menus. Uh, for this picker templates, it's really simple. We don't have any uh, sliders and attribute buttons. So we assume that uh, we have one. So we just create one really quick. Uh, at panel, okay, facial. Um, maybe use this uh, copy color and stroke, and then copy size. Okay, uh, well, so we got a actual facial panel to contain our attribute buttons. Uh, so uh, right now I won't bother with creating any attribute button. I just uh, I'll double click this area and then uh, maybe borrow some attribute button from other templates. Okay, uh, so okay, uh, let's borrow some. IKFK attribute buttons to here. You just control C and activate with this uh, pick a panel and control V. That's really simple. And, and the middle relationship is also be copied here. So you can just out and then move quick and move these buttons a little mirrored item will be moved uh, re reflectively. Okay, uh, now we got these attribute buttons. Let's uh, add a little bit of stroke. So it's more noticeable. Okay, uh, assume that uh, we have these attribute buttons, and uh, what you gotta do is replace the things here. Let's see that attribute is actually a dummy attribute, means it doesn't connect with any Maya attributes. It's just bool on enum dummy attributes. So uh, right now we have some Maya attribute to connect with. So uh, let's see. Uh, actual arm um, switch IKFK is here, uh, so we just highlight this attribute uh, in Maya at channel box and then select this uh, IKFK switch for hand picker buttons, which is a attribute button, and then we switch to for Maya, and then uh, with this attribute being highlighted in channel box. We just click this button. Oh no! Um, sorry, uh, you should highlight the attribute in this channel box. Okay, uh, so highlight this and then go to this. With this simple action, let's see. Right now it's IK, and then we just switch to FK. See, this changed as well. So we end up with uh, attribute control button that actual control the. IKFK statement for this hand, right? Uh, so you just keep, uh, repeat this process to every attribute buttons if they are um, necessary. I uh, just um, switch to for Maya and then uh, select the attribute here and then go uh, use this button to actually assign this attribute to this attribute button. That means this attribute button will control this attribute. And uh, on the contrary, the edit to this attribute in the other way, maybe switch to IK. And then you once your mouse button, I mean your mouse cursor move into this, you may find that this value update as well. This is the beauty of the attribute button. You always sync with Maya attributes. Okay. Um, let's move on and Assume that we have some sliders here in our picker templates. So I will just um, create something really quick. Uh, say for these sliders. Say this is a uh, uh, sliders that exist in the template files. So um, we need to reassign. What attribute uh, Maya attribute actually be controlled by these sliders? Um, so we select these sliders and then select these controls, 
Um, in here, uh, let's test it out. It only have the transfer y axis available. The transfer axis doesn't make sense. So uh, we just turn off the edge attribute and leave the v attribute on and then highlight this attribute and go to this button. And that way, now we can cre uh, control this slider to control these uh, controllers. Uh, if your templates is actually uh, created for your project, so chances are you don't need to do all these jobs. I, I just mentioned this in case you need to. Uh, the main thing for this is this data area. So assign these attributes and maybe tweak this uh, speed as well. This will affect the how fast this Maya attribute change when you move these handles. Okay, so with this slider handle selected you can also meet a mouse button to nudging in this 3d view to uh, change these attributes okay okay beside all we have done uh, we may also need to edit these text items uh, text items are basically for decoration of this picker ui or say uh, serve as uh, annotations for some uh, picker buttons okay and so maybe you need to check out if some text also need to be changed um, you just change it uh, the simple way is to double click the text item and then input a new text that's all um, beside all these things um, there's still one thing I have mentioned is that you maybe you need to check out the um, picker load and enter command okay uh, for these picker templates we have no load and enter command um, but if you have some codes input here uh, maybe you need to check out and modify it for every every single rig okay um, for load command uh, this is a command that will be executed once the picker file or picker node being loaded in the mg picker studio no matter it's animation mode or or its designer mode and enter command uh, it will be invoked every time your mouse enter this picker view so uh, basically you use this to um, uh, update the some some states of picker buttons based on my things okay so I just mentioned that uh, don't forget to check out the low enter command see if you need to modify them okay um, the last thing we to do um, is go to picker and set picker metadata so meta info basically just input your name email and a website or message to the emitter who use this picker so uh, the, the guy who used this picker file let's switch to uh, animator mode and then uh, I if I go to about current picker I can see your email address and who designed these picker files and some messages from the picker designer okay um, let's switch back to to designer mode using F8 hotkey okay um, this is pretty much all for the how to create a picker based on picker templates hope you like it see you